So our next game is going to be Montana State at New Mexico at 4 p.m. Uh, we're going to get an, a little SCS versus FBS matchup, uh, but I, I might not call it a cupcake for the Lobos. Um, it, it, it could be interesting, but it probably, I mean, it, it's going to be boring probably, but it could be interesting because of the spread, which I'm going to get to in just a second. The TBD model has New Mexico favored by 17 points and actually won all five games they played on that field. Uh, the ESPN FPI is New Mexico 68%, and the spread, however, is Montana State by 10. So this is one of those games and it's early in the season, but we have one of these games. that's kind of a, it, they're on opposite ends of the spectrum when it comes to the ESPN FPI and the spread. So the spread is still not horribly big into New Mexico's favor. However, it still is favoring them. And the, but the spread is saying that Montana is going to win this game by two scores. Um, I'm not really sure what to think about that. And I'm really glad that Isaac gets to go first. So this one, like, like Mason said, this one is probably going to be a slow game. Could be okay. Uh, honestly, I really want to go with New Mexico with New Mexico just because they are the home team, you know. But I'm going to have to go with I'm going to have to go against the go against the spread. I'm going to have to go with Montana State by a touchdown. I don't think they cover. Uh, I think they're going to go on the road, start the season one and zero in week zero. It is FCS versus FBS, but I mean, listen, stranger things have happened. You know, we could argue North Dakota State could hang with some FBS schools. So. I'm going to have to go with Montana State. I think it'll be a good game this weekend. And listen, college football is back, baby. We'll take what we can get. So my explanation for this is not going to be uh, too horribly difficult. Uh, I'm going to pick New Mexico on this one. I really like that our model is favoring New Mexico, and so does the ESPN FPI. I'm not really sure what is going into the spread that's picking Montana State. Maybe it's their appearance in the playoff last year, what they've uh, retained on their offense and defense and or what they retained in personnel. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to have to go with the Lobos here. I think they pull this one out at home. How many freaking FCS schools are there? I don't even, I've never heard of a Montana state. There's a, and there's a ton. There's a lot. Yeah. I, I, I'm like looking for them and I can't find them. That's, that's, that's why I got to pick New Mexico. Cause who the heck is Montana state? Um, New Mexico at home, you know, they. I'm pretty sure they're the team that gave Auburn a hard time last season, so I somewhat know their name. Um, they did. They did. They freaking beat Auburn by 20 points on the road in Jordan That's right. Hare. They did win. So Which I, is I gotta, why I said last week that Auburn only shows up if it's Alabama in their stadium. Exactly. That's why I got to go New Mexico here because – I know Montana. Who the heck is Montana State? New Mexico by 90. You heard it here first, folks. New Mexico by 90.